Welcome to the Northeast Kingdom Tourism Ambassador Program. This video has been designed to familiarize you with some of our regional arts and culture, with a specific focus on galleries and studios. When travelers visit Vermont's Northeast Kingdom, they will sense our story on every road, path, and rolling hillside. They can sense the history of many generations of Vermonters who've made the kingdom their home and found a way to carve out a living in this rural area and they meet and become inspired by many people who keep these traditions alive today. Throughout the region, in every season, visitors will find festivals, museums, galleries, and local bookshops that capture our story in a variety of ways through art, poetry, crafts, unique educational programs, and storytelling. Located in East Burke, Studio Fresca Workshop and Gallery creates mixed-media mosaics from recycled and salvaged materials. Studio Fresca offers fine art, functional art, architectural installations, jewelry, cards, and prints. Also, private and group classes and Peaceful Pieces Mosaic Workshop weekend packages are available. Also in East Burke is Sanderson Wooden Bowls. The Northeast Kingdom is forested with a large variety of hardwoods, which the Sandersons use to make gorgeous wood bowls and other products. All the wood bowls, wooden pens, and other pieces are made at Sanderson's home and studio located in East Burke, just north of the village. They welcome visitors to their studio and invite them to say hello to their donkeys and rabbits while they're there. Whitewater Gallery is located in Hardwick and showcases the work of local and regional internationally recognized artists who are living in the Northeast Kingdom and the Eastern Townships of Quebec. The name references the raging falls of the mighty Lamoille as it carves through the village of East Hardwick. Adjacent to the gallery is a mini museum of sorts that houses perhaps one of the most original collections of all steel antique customized cars in the Northeast. Also in Hardwick is Grace. Grace began in 1975 at the St. Johnsbury Convalescent Center located in Vermont's Northeast Kingdom. In September of 2000, Grace acquired the old firehouse in downtown Hardwick, the permanent facility for the organization. The old firehouse, built in 1885, is listed on the National Register of Historic Sites and provides a bright interior space for Grace's firehouse gallery, community workshops, offices, and art collections. The Mountain Fiber Folk Cooperative is located in Montgomery. Members of this unique shop and fiber studio are local farmers and fiber producers who provide high quality products made from natural fibers. The collection of spinning and knitting fibers and yarns are obtained from local llamas, alpacas, colored Angora goats, Icelandic Romney and Cormo sheep, Angora bunnies, and even Samoya docks. Their shop is open year-round and often provides knitting and spinning demos for visitors, as well as an array of hand-knit items, gifts, and fibers for purchase. The Mac Center for the Arts in downtown Newport showcases artisans' work with a focus on cultural heritage. The center features the works of over 45 artists and handcrafters, which include fine art, photography, jewelry, pottery, wood carving, fiber arts, furniture, clocks, and more. Classes and workshops are also held, as well as an occasional performance. The Collaborative's website features the works of the members, as well as a list of classes, performance, and a calendar of arts and humanities events in the greater Newport area. The P.J. Hammond Art Gallery is also located in Newport Center, Vermont. P.J. Hammond resides on the Canadian border. Her work is found throughout the United States, Canada, and in Europe. She works primarily in watercolor and acrylics. In 1990, she was invited to have a one-woman exhibition in Iceland after having gone there to paint on two previous occasions. Five trips to Alaska, an invitation to paint in the Virgin Islands and Florida have continued to broaden her scope. Although wildflowers have always engrossed her, her landscapes and other very original art continue to identify her as a truly outstanding artist. Catamount Arts is located in St. Johnsbury. It was founded in 1975 with a mission of enhancing the cultural climate of northern Vermont and New Hampshire. 
The Catamount Community Arts Building features two movie theaters, allowing for the presentation of a regular schedule of acclaimed foreign language and independent films. Two state-of-the-art classrooms, which are used for art, computer, and music education, an 80-seat performance space dedicated to regular performance by local artists, and a gallery showcasing local and area artisans' work. Catamount annually presents an extensive series of performances at venues throughout Vermont's Northeast Kingdom, bringing in nationally known touring artists as well as accomplished local performers. The Northeast Kingdom Artisans Guild in St. Johnsbury is the Vermont Artisans Cooperative featuring beautiful collections of fine handmade crafts and art. Founded in September of 1997 by seven local artisans as a cooperative craft shop, the Northeast Kingdom Artisans Guild is a showcase for more than 100 of Vermont's finest artisans. With a focus on traditional craft, the Northeast Kingdom Artisans Guild is dedicated to exhibiting a wide selection of fine traditional and contemporary craft in a variety of disciplines, including baskets, clay, fiber, jewelry, glass, metal, paper, and wood. Fine art includes prints, watercolors, oils, and photography. With the addition of the backroom gallery in 2003, the Guild has created a special annex which features one-person or collaborative art exhibitions. The backroom gallery exhibits changes every six weeks. The St. John's Ferry Anthenaeum is a National Historic Landmark that has served as a center of culture and learning for the regional community for over 130 years. This free public library and art gallery is home to a permanent collection of 19th century paintings including Albert Bierstadt's Majestic Domes of the Yosemite. The Anthenaeum also hosts poetry readings, contemporary art exhibits in the upstairs gallery, and concerts. Located in Newport is the Goodrich Memorial Library. The first library established in the city of Newport was originated by Dr. John M. Currier in the spring of 1862. In 2003, Goodrich Memorial Library received a substantial grant and the building has been restored to its original beauty and elegance. The museum features an outstanding collection of art from various sources on display year-round and often hosts select art exhibits from across the state and beyond. Bread and Puppet Theater and Museum is located in Glover. Founded in 1963 by Peter Schumann on New York City's Lower East Side, Bread and Puppet moved to a former farm in Glover in 1964. A 150 year old barn was transformed into a museum for an extensive and eclectic collection of veteran puppets and masks. Museum hours are generally from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, June through October. Joe's Pond Craft Shop is located in West Danville, and it's the perfect place to find an outstanding collection of fine, traditional Vermont handcrafts. It is located in a beautifully renovated barn attached to Hastings Store, a very traditional Vermont country store. All the items in the gallery shop honor the tradition of handcrafting, and many are based on a country theme and related to nature. Along with offering a very wide range of handcrafts by many other talented craftspeople, proprietor Deborah Stressing also offers quilt-related note cards from her home business, Log Cabin Designs, and displays her working loom and her woven rag rug. It is important to note that there are many additional studios and galleries throughout the region. Those included in this training are just a sampling of offerings available.